yo what up guys let me talk to you guys a little bit today about protection not protection like you know packing heat right not protection like the birds and the bees that's not for this channel we're going to talk about about real protection real protection let's get it So let's talk about protection of your reels, right? Now, this is gonna sound a little redneck, bear with me, right? Let's bear with me. Let's have some Let's have some faith. Everybody knows this Calico's rod mule. I love this thing. The rod mule works great for tossing rods, carrying multiple rods with one hand, slinging them over your shoulder and going. Protects your rods, that's fantastic. Protecting your reels, right? They make a, a plethora of different covers and, and, and housings to put your reels in. Some guys take their reels off the rods when they travel. I don't do that. My rods, my reels go on the rod and they live there until they gotta be cleaned or dismantled or whatever. I'm not a guy who takes reels off of rods. That's just not me, right? Here's the thing. A little, a little, a little redneck tip that I do. They make a bunch of different covers. You can get them from 10 bucks, I think all the way to 40 bucks for a rod cover. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that there's any, those things are great. What I use is something different. This is what I use. Sounds crazy, bear with me. A pair of socks, a set of socks. Now, I don't use dirty socks, although you're welcome to. I'm sure some of you guys are, have some dirty socks that already have holes in them. I use an, I, I buy a new pair of, of, of $5 worth of, of black socks from Walmart or the dollar store or the dollar general, whatever. But what I do is take and cut a little hole right in the toe, right? Say, I told you this was gonna sound crazy, stay with me, right? What I do is I take one of my rods and one of my reels, right? Take one of my setups. And if I know I'm going down a dirt road or if these are gonna be exposed in the bed of my truck or they're gonna be sitting on top of the kayak or in the John boat going down the highway to get to my to get to the fishing spot for the day, then this is what I do. And it just keeps the d debris, the road grime, the dirt from the dirt road, the dust, it keeps that out of my reels, right? Here's what I do. I literally just take the tube sock and put it on the reel, put it on the rod like I would put it on my foot. Through the hole in the toe, run the bottom straight out, and literally run your tube sock up and over your reel, just like that. I told you it was gonna look a little redneck, I told you it was gonna look a little silly, but guys, I'm telling you right now, let me get rid of that rod cover, works phenomenal. It looks a little silly, I get it, but it keeps your reel protected from banging on the bottom of the truck in the bed of the truck, or banging in the bottom of the John boat. It just is a little bit of added satisfaction, a little bit of added padding and comfort. And like I said, it keeps the highway grime, keeps the dirt, the dust from the dirt road. When you get to where you're fishing, you slide this thing off of here, you throw it in the bed of the truck and you move on, you go finish your day. Again, I told you a little redneck and a little suspect, but this is my juice. It works for me, check it out, do it yourself. Or tell me in the comments below, what do you use to protect your reels? <laughs> Scott Butcher, Cash and Fishing Rods. See ya. Woo!